Scorched Earth and a general mid-month reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant for the last few weeks of May. I hope you are. I'm using the Llewellyn Tarot for you today. So uh, if you haven't seen these videos before, what I like to do for the mid-months is slightly different to the main monthly read in so much as we are looking for the lesson. I have found over the years that it is easier to navigate what can feel like potentially challenging energy if I can kind of detach from it and see what the lesson is. Yeah, um, I believe that everything is a lesson. And so it's an exercise in detachment, really. That's that's what it is. And um, like I said, I found it really useful for gaining perspective on things rather than kind of drowning in the emotion of the situation. So that's what we're going to do for you today. If it doesn't make sense, bear with me because I'm sure it will by the end of the reading. Let's start off with three cards for your current energy. Aries, current energy, please. Ooh, this is wonderful. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. So it feels like there are things that you are putting in place. <sighs> with the intention of starting something new. Aries. We've got the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, but it's followed by Justice, and it does feel like you've let some stuff go recently. I'm not sure what's been going on with you in the last couple of weeks, but you found something of value in the energy that you are in at the moment, and that it actually feels like it's it's like that silver lining. You know, I'm looking at this and it, it, it looks, this page of pentacles here, and it looks like the sun's kind of streaming down here. It, it, and it's just come through the clouds, you know? It, it's like things have been a bit stormy and you have found now something useful in it. And now you've seen it, it feels like this is, it, everything's kind of clicked into place. It's like, yes, this is the way to go. With the Knight of Cups, we've got, you know, aspects of you offering your cup to other people. And this could be in a, you know, in a literal sense, it could be all like, you know, making up with people that you've fallen out with or, you know, kind of coming towards someone who is, you know, you feel could be emotionally important to you, kind of, you know, being all like, hey, let's, let's be friends, you know, that sort of thing. But with the King of Pentacles here, it actually feels like you're putting in place <clears throat> things for a new... A new way of being. I know. I know it's pentacles, and so this should really relate to your your material environment. But it actually feels more emotional. It feels like you are changing things around in your day to day, the way that you do things, possibly to appear to others more open. You know, there's a mindfulness about your your energy here. But the King of Pentacles indicates. An aspect of delayed gratification so it's it's like you're not necessarily expecting changes right here and now but everything's kind of being put into place for it this is really interesting I'm just really nosy so I'm just gonna pull another card here or two tell me about the king of pentacles please Ooh. we've got the three of Ooh, pentacles and the wheel of fortune that have come out together here it's definitely the value in working together with other people for something we've got the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck here and she speaks about a high level of discernment and that's the thing that seems to have come in for you here like you've extricated some sort of really valuable lesson we see that replicated across the message replicated across with the wheel of fortune You know, there's a possibility that might you might have pulled away from from people or a group of people or friends or family or whatever. Um, but in hindsight, or in retrospect at least, you see now that possibly there was something about you that was being triggered by the situation. It wasn't necessarily anything to do with those people. Maybe it was to do with you instead and you've worked on that and you've moved forwards. Or that you have found... Yeah, what feels like a new tribe. Either way, there's definitely an opening up here and a sense of building. 
for the future and it, it does feel like you're building for you here Aries which is really really important I like this let's have a look at the lesson what is the lesson here for Aries please we have we have the three of cups we have the devil and we have the knight of swords yeah I feel like you've you've hit head on something that that has expressed itself as a trigger for you right there's some sort of deep fear that it really does feel like you've approached head on and maybe you've spoken to people about it maybe you've actually opened up to people about this and in doing so like kind of shining the light of the sun here on this you've seen it's not nearly as awful as you thought it was it's just like a problem shared is a problem halved you know with the three of pentacles and the three of cups and this knight of cups this is this is community this is supportive energy around you and more than that it is you opening up to that it is you taking steps to be more mindful and more present in your day to day perhaps being more um, willing to open up and share with people on the day to day like you don't have to do it all by yourself and that applies right across the board whether it is you know something practical that you're struggling with or something internal and emotional that you're struggling with either way there's definite movement here and it looks like you're putting things in place for a different way of being moving forwards it's interesting because what we've got here is an absolute absence of one's energy we've got cups and we've got pentacles and we've got a sword here with the knight of uh, knight of swords but no wands could it be that you you are moving out of your element a little bit now i think i think often that's a depiction of maturity is when you start bringing in the lessons from the other elements and incorporating them it's not good for anyone to be entirely of one element, uh, particularly not ones. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. I have some advice for Aries, please. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, we've got the star, we've got the nine of cups, and we've got the hierophant. It's asking you to pay attention to what it is that makes you feel good what is that makes you feel happy now like everybody should be doing that and everybody really should be like constructing their life around it but, but far too often you know we actually struggle on with burdens that we don't need to carry you know we, we do things the hard way around and often it's because we're frightened but you've really faced something head on here so now it's about the future I'm seeing that very very strongly um and future connections potentially because I do see feel that that notion of connection with the star turning towards the future and and working out what it is that you want moving forwards right what makes you happy what makes you feel content how can you you bring more of that into your life and how can you commit to it let me shut that window yeah we've got the hierophant here next to it and this is more energy of building. It's more energy of stability, actually. It feels like there's a, you know, either you've returned to an old group of friends or you have, like I said, this new tribe now. It feels like this is a really big reading for you, Aries, even though there isn't that much much going on in it like the, the devil is right in the center of these cards that i've pulled here but the three cards of advice at the bottom the ones that are anchoring the reading are about hope for the future vulnerability and opening up and really solidifying your surroundings right i feel like things have been quite up in the air for aries for for a while now you know it's been a bit like this but it seems like in the middle of all the chaos you've managed to find something of yourself and there's a contentment coming it's not quite here yet but it is coming and whilst you might might not want to revisit any of the experiences that you've had recently it really does feel like you've elicited something useful out of it like I said, that, that contentment is now starting to surface for you. 
Oh, I like this Aries. Right, um, this is what I have for you. I really hope that um, it's been helpful. Now that I love you all very, very much, and I will see you soon.